Nihon Jujutsu, then, we can say is an amalgamation of the techniques of Judo, which are a training methodology, the techniques of Taiho Jitsu, restraining people, and ancient techniques from ancient Jujutsu, as well as a modernized method of Jujutsu that Tomiki Sensei was teaching. And Sato Sensei took that, concentrated on the fundamental aspects, and created a system that is accessible for people of different ages and different abilities. Jujutsu is the same idea. If I try this technique here and he has power, he can stop me with movement or what have you. So all the techniques use the same idea of breaking his balance. This position, Kuzushi. In Jujutsu, we use twisting the arm often to get the Kuzushi. And from here, this is Seiwe Nage. This is the old way. Two problems. One, his arm can break. And two, there's no way to fall safely. Judo techniques are all designed so the fall is also safe. So if we look at one technique in particular, this Seiwe Nage, both this is possible injury to the arm, and he falls over here, it's not safe. He pulls Seiwe Nage, every time you throw, he's safe. This is the brilliant point of Judo. We can train all day, safely, with all our power. Jiu-Jitsu techniques are dangerous, so we cannot train freely. Judo has randori, this means free training. All our power, we try and throw, you try and throw me, I try and throw you all day. You get tired, but no injury. Jujitsu, there's no free training properly because it's too dangerous. Throwing with the elbow, throwing with the wrist, throwing with the head, these are all too dangerous to do in a free training situation. The other point in Judo and Jiu Jitsu that is greatly dissimilar is striking techniques. In Jiu Jitsu and in Karate you find the same thing, particularly the Okinawan style. You're using striking technique within the joint blocking. Jiu Jitsu, traditional Jiu Jitsu, Japanese Jiu Jitsu, not so much in Okinawan styles, we use a joint blocking first and then the strike. The reason for this is he has no power. If I hit a man now, he can take a lot of force, he can escape. If you do this motion, it's very difficult. Your power is greatly increased. Same thing here. From this position, it's a good time to strike. From this position, it's a good time to strike. This is a traditional ancient Japanese striking with Kansetsu Aza, or joint techniques. <laughs>